Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to insert an image on any part that you have in Roblox Studio. Uh, this is also known as a decal, and this is a way of putting a picture onto uh, parts that you put into your Roblox games. Let's get started. So you wanna have Roblox Studio open, and you'll see uh, I'm working on a game here, and I've got a, a part here that could be used as a sign or a wall. And the, uh, again, if you wanted to create this part, you just go to part and then uh, I created a block first and then um, uh, you can uh, resize it to the uh, dimensions that uh, you need to create uh, something like a wall or a sign. And then um, once you have the part that you'd like to place your uh, image or decal on, um, then you want to make sure first that you have your Explorer tab and your Properties tab on the right. And again, to find those, just go to View and then Explorer and Properties. Make sure that those are gray so that they're showing. And then you'll also want to have your toolbox up. And uh, right here is the toolbox, so you can just uh, press that so it shows up on the left. And let's go ahead and just uh, use a picture that's already in the library at Roblox. So you can come over here and just go, instead of Models, just click on images and it'll show images that are available uh, to use in your Roblox games. And let's look uh, for something, maybe uh, something like uh, some grass that we could put there. And then here's an image I like. And so basically what I'm going to do is I can drag it to the part and then just let go or, um, and to undo, you just go do control Z or you can go ahead and uh, click on the part that you want it on and then press the, um, the image, um, click on the image, and it'll show up on the part here on the right. So you can see it in Explorer. There's the decal uh, for your uh, part. And again, you can see the grass is uh, showing up nicely. So one thing to keep in mind uh, for the images you're putting on uh, parts is that uh, you want to make sure it goes on the side that you want it to go on. And so what you do is uh, you would click on the decal and then um, it, it, on the bottom here, it, it gives you the appearance and the data. And you will want to make sure that the face, it says on front here. So you can just pick a different, so let's say I want to put on this on the back. I'll just click on back and you'll see the image now is on the other side. So um, that is one way to make sure that um, your images are going where you want them to go is by, um, you know, going to clicking on the decal and then uh, clicking on the, the face. And that will put that on different uh, side of the part that you created. Now, uh, another thing uh, to keep in mind is that the image will resize to the part that you created. So let's say I take this part and I want to uh, scale it. Um, let's make sure I get the part selected. And now I want to scale the part. Um, you'll see the image is going to automatically um, you know, resize to the size of the part. Now, uh, one thing, if you'd like to keep this size the same, but have the, you know, the part be similar, what you can do is um, you know, put other parts around it like this, and then you know, just um, surround the part, and then you could create a model. Um, and that'd be one way to keep the image a smaller image, and then group those together, and then you could resize it, and the image will stay you know, um, in proportion to the, what you made. So that's one thing. Um, now, let's say you want to upload your own image to uh, your uh, Roblox Studio so that you can use it in your game. So what you'll want to do for this is actually go to the internet. So you'll want to go to roblox.com and uh, sign into your account. And then you can click on create. And then this should take you to uh, your creation, the green games that you have created. Um, you could also just go to roblox.com slash develop and uh, make sure you're signed in. And you'll see, uh, you wanna click on my creations and then click on decals. And then so here you'll be able to add images uh, to your uh, inventory. So go ahead and uh, choose your image. And then um, once you have that, it will upload it to um, your decals inventory. And you see, I've got a tree picture there um, already uploaded. So uh, now when you uh, have done this, it will show up in your Roblox Studio. So now when I go back to Roblox Studio, I'm going to go to the toolbox and then I'm just gonna click uh, right here on inventory. And now instead of my models, I'm gonna go with my images and you can see the tree picture is there. It's not quite showing yet and that might happen. Um, sometimes it takes a couple minutes for it to upload, um, but I've got this part selected. So I'm gonna click on the tree picture and now you can see the tree picture uh, was uh, successfully uploaded to that part. And you can see over here, uh, the tree picture decal is there. And again, that was one that I uploaded to Roblox Studio and then put into the game. 
Uh, again, anytime that you're using your own images, make sure that you have the right to use that image. Um, one place that you can find some pretty decent images is canva.com. And so that's uh, this site here. So canva.com and, and they've got some images that you can use, uh, you know, in your game. And there are other sites like that, that you, you know, that, that you will have the right to use the images. Just make sure that um, you, you are able to use the image that you have selected uh, legally. Uh, so uh, that, those are the main ways to insert uh, the decals or pictures into the game that you are creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.